All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for more action. Welcome back to the stream. This afternoon, we're having the men's free ski and snowboard big air finals in the Euro Cup out here today in Silva Plana. Korvac, co host with me today. Give yourself a little introduction. Hi, I'm Tosh from Canada, out here to represent Schmob. Let's go. Schmob. Heard it here first. Check him out on Instagram, putting out sick edits, That's crew cool. out of Whistler. And uh, yeah, happy to have you here in the booth. And uh, we've already streamed the women's final. And oh boy, it was crazy. What a show. We've seen 14 attempts. We've seen landed 1260s, landed 1080s. Yeah. And we're talking Euro Cup level, but it's actually almost World Cup level, I would say. And for the men's division, I mean, it's only up from here. <laughs> really is. It's going to go crazy. And you also have some uh, some buddies in the final today. I do. Maybe There's talk a, a little bit about the Canadian natives out here. Who do we have in the final today? We got two Canadian riders. We got Keenan Demchuk and Finn Feinstone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are about to see some crazy tricks being thrown down. Absolutely. And as I said before, we're having snowboard and free ski in a double up situation so we're gonna have a snowboarder dropping and right after the snowboarder we're gonna have free skiers dropping in so all of the freestyle sports united in one big community love to see it here's the start list of the snowboarders packed field of euro cup riders and also a lot of world cup riders actually super hyped to see what the boys are gonna throw down Yesterday's quali, I am actually kind of impressed by myself that I still have a voice because yesterday's qualification yeah. was insane. I was screaming all day long, and the boys just went in on this beautiful jump that we have here today. And that was the start list for the free skiers, and the start is going to be with the snowboarders, I reckon. And first up mm. in the start gate is going to be Moritz Breu from Germany. The win for Germany, love to see it. And yeah, I can't wait to get this party started. I mean, we have perfect perfect weather. Um, you've been watching the practice a little bit of the Watched boys. Watched a bit of the practice, saw some thoughts. Saw some pretty crazy tricks. All right. Saw all the right. boys send it. Hyped to see what... Uh, the boys got to bring to the table. It's going to be an amazing show for sure. That's for sure. And uh, I can't wait to get this party started, honestly. I think we're almost ready to rock and roll. It's ready to be delivered. I think the reshape is done. And now we're getting the view of the start gate. Here we go. Who's going to start off this big, big finale? And I'm just going to put this out there. We're in a World Cup level, but we're going to see a lot of 1800s. So better be ready for a lot of action. And also, we have the live chat on YouTube. So make sure you chat it up. Give some Ws for your favorites out there and hype them up. We are glad to see any comments in the chat for sure. Trying to be some, some kind of Twitch streamers out here. I think we got what it takes. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying our best for sure. For That's sure. right. Hell yeah. Yeah. So maybe also worth mentioning for the free skiers, this is the last Euro Cup of the season. And it's an interesting one because we have a race for the overall uh, winner. <laughs> oh, and we oh, see a little schmob action right there. Eli Bouchard. Some pizza. fellow Canadians. Pizza delivery out there. Enjoying some pizza. Nice. Nick Raz as well. And Frank Chauvin. Frank the Tank. So it's going to be a race for the overall trophy for the free skiers. I believe Fadri Rina, the Swiss free skier, has the chance to take home the overall win. But he has to put down a solid performance out here today if he wants to take home the first spot overall. All right, I think we're going to start things off with my brother from Germany, Moritz Breu from the snowboard division. Maybe also worth mentioning, right next to the big air jump, we're having the junior Swiss championships in slope style for the category age 
15 and under. So, so nice to see the big ones and the small ones shredding it up on the mountains side by side. One love, one community. That's what we love to see. Oh, we have Nils Riener in the chat, my dog. Nils Riener, part of the Swiss Freeski team, uh, also known as the OL. I'm not going to say anything more to that. Nils, that is for you. <laughs> Yannick rushed. I'm sorry, bro. You're not going to get a child from me. Very sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, my girlfriend is in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see you tonight, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Some love in the chat. Love to see it. And I think we are about to start. Moritz Broy is getting piped up right there. He is getting El Tonied up. Oh, yeah, man. El Tonied up. We have a lot of cans out here. Shout out to El Tony Shout providing out. the boost right there. You tried the El Tony for the first time, actually. And I like it. It's great. Love to see it. Okay, so we are waiting for the sound right now. For us, <laughs> for the salt. <laughs> wow, funny mistake right there. Okay, taking some time, making sure that the takeoff is nice and firm or as firm as it can be in conditions like these. The Corvatch Park crew are trying their best to make sure that all the riders get the best possible conditions and they put some salt on that takeoff trying to get it nice and hard oh nice little view at the bottom section right there people are getting cramped up on the third knuckle watching the madness go down all right all right all right almost ready to start it off maybe let's talk a little bit about your next week. You're going to go to Kitzsteinhorn, right? Next week, heading to Kitzsteinhorn. Actually, tonight. Oh, tonight, we'll actually. Wow. And, yeah, another contest there. Hopefully, there's some good weather so we can schmob it up over in Kitz. Oh, yeah, man. And, yeah, I think you're going to have a good time. Have you ever been to Kitzsteinhorn? First time for me. Oh, it's going to be a blast for sure. Definitely a very nice park up there as well, and you're going to be schmobbing it up for sure. Love to see the schmob in the park yesterday and oh, the days yes. before. We see a little action of the Junior Swiss Championships, as I said before. Category H, 15 and under is happening today. All right. I can't wait to get it started, man. It's going to be insane for sure. Look at all these people on the chairlift. They're going to have... The best view out there on the big air jump and the medium line where all the shredding is going down right now. Gonna be very nice for sure. So you've been here in Europe for quite a bit right now? Quite a bit. It's been over a week. All and right. Yeah. Been shredding it up. How How is Europe treating you so far? So good. The weather has been Hell yeah. the best. Love to hear that. All right. We just got the confirmation. We're about to start things off. Ladies and gentlemen, Moritz Broy will start things off. And Tosh, I'm going to give it right back at you. Take it away. First rider on course. Let's get hype for the first rider. Dropping in. First, we have a setup jump. Let's see what he's got for us. Whoa. Oh, some, some sort of tweak. Heading into the jump where it matters. Going backside triple oh! 14 and putting it down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Couldn't have done it any better than that. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this was the first rider of today. Back triple to start things off. Putting in the sauce right there. Germany here to play. Oh my goodness. And we're going to get right back into free ski action. First free skier on course. We have... Kashu Sato from Japan dropping in for his first run. Here we go. Starting things off on that setup jump. Little shifty, getting that speed dialed in. Now on to the jump. Go and switch. Double Misty Bio 1260. Nice. Putting it down right there. 
I think he went for the mute grab, kind of missed out on that mute grab. Went for the safety, got that one nice and locked. Oh, it's going to go very fast right now. Next up already for the snowboarders, who do we have? We got Rocco Jameson dropping in. And this guy is a gangster and a shredder oh, he through shreds. and through. He is absolutely amazing to see. Running the t-shirt because, man, it is hot out there. The sun is just blazing. It is spring vibes through and through. And maybe we're going to see an 1800 right here, right off the back. Going backside. Oh, all right, going backside 1440 with the indie grab. Man, he had time. I mean, he definitely has time for a back 18 right there. And we know that Rocco has a front 18 as yeah. well. So we're in for a big show. That is very true. Beautiful backside 1440 for Rocco all the way from New Zealand. Kiwi Shredder putting it down. Next up for the free skiers, we have Niklas Oberauch from Italy. Ooh, no scrap shifty. Little backside air style from the skier. Here we go. First jump going. Double core 1260 with the mute grab and poking it out, showing that he has full control right there in the air. Absolutely flawless. He's from Niklas Oberauch. Once again, got to give a little shout out to the Italian team rocking the Armani kits. Love to see that. All right. Back to our borders. We got Pedro Pizarro dropping in. Actually worth mentioning, this youngster qualified for finals, throwing down his first ever frontside 1800. Whew. So maybe we're going to see it right off the back right here. All right. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh nah. my god. Backside double 14 with the melon grab going so deep down the landing. Pedro oh. came here to play. Wow. I thought he was going for a 12 right there for a I sec. Th I thought it looked like 12, but then brought it to 14. Dude, just whips it around. And stomped. Insane. Next up, we have the first Swiss rider off today's finals for the man. We have Lars Ruchti. All the way from Berner Oberland, here we go. Super stylish ripper on course first for the Swiss team. Here we go. Setting himself up on this setup jump. Grabbing that nice blunt grab. Here we go. Probably going to go for a top 14. Oh, look yeah. at that. <laughs> Stomping it like it's nothing. Dub 14 with the tail grab. Oh, and tweaking it in the air as well. He is hyped on that one. Dude, the vibes up here right now. It is yeah. crazy. Everyone's stomping. Love this to is see insane. it. Next up, also one to watch out for, eh? Yep. <laughs> Chema. This guy's been killing it this season so many new learns oh yeah i mean he's a wizard honestly we're gonna see something crazy from this run also worth mentioning chema is the current junior world champion in big air let's see if he can hold it down in today's euro cup finals here we go on front side triple Whoa! 14 <laughs> oh my god oh my yes, goodness yes chema Look at this. Look at the amplitude right there. Oh, just stomp that. Dude. And it is so hard to do frontside triple and going big on that trick. I don't know if you have ever done a front trip. I have not yet. But frontside triple 14s, especially the way he is doing it with that late rotation at the end, so hard to stop that rotation, but no problem for Chema Mazza Brown right there. Here we go. Next up for the free skiers, we have Valentin Auer. Oh. Going a little big right there, setting himself up switch for this first jump. Going switch, triple! Oh! oh. Taking a slam. Oh my gosh. Lost the grab in the air on that oh. switch, triple 12. I think he's all right. He's hiking up right now to get his ski. Look at that. Yeah. He's still pumped on that. That's one... Definitely an advantage. The landing is very soft. 
So if you go down, it is not as painful as on a firm landing, but maybe we're going to see some snow snakes. I don't hope that we see snow snakes today, yeah. but definitely not too easy to land in slushy landings. Next up, we oh. got fellow schmob rider, Keenan Demchuk. Let's go. Yesterday, he qualified with an amazing back triple. And I mean, it was perfect. It was perfect. And it was the second one he's ever landed on snow. Second one? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Keenan. Already shout out to Keenan Demchuk right there. We got Braden Demchuk, I believe. Let's go, Braden. He's going to do the Sean Palmer special. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Let's stay tuned. What's going to go down? Coming in cooking right now. Oh, yeah. Oh! Going for 16. Oh, my gosh. Keenan. Look at the amplitude again. You oh. animal. That would have been a first for him. Oh my gosh, Backside Keenan. triple 16. Holy moly. It. Keenan going to the moon right there on that back triple 16-20 attempt. Just a little too oh. much amplitude right there. So close to landing it as well. So close. Next up, we have Colby Johnson from the United States of America. Living it up today in Corvart Silva Plana for the free skiers. Here we go, coming in. To this first attempt, dropping in switch, going for the switch, double cork, 16-20, stomps it with the oh. afterbang as well. I mean, that looked too easy for him. Wow, he's Holy. chilling. Getting that safety grab, proper tweak on it to get that rotation around. Oh my goodness, Colby absolutely lacing that first one. I don't think we're going to have Adrien Vodo next up. I think it's going to be the snowboarder. Alex Lotorto, my Swiss teammate. Homie already took home the Swiss championship title in slope style on Wednesday this week. Now let's see what he has for us in this big air final. Come in, opting in for the setup jump. Looking super comfortable. Here we go. Come on, Alex. Let's go. Yes, that's Two, it. Three. Oh! <laughs> My <laughs> dog! My dog! <sighs> Homie is unlocked with that back triple 16. He actually, oh, in, man. in qualies, he did two backside triple 16s, both perfectly done. And he hasn't been doing that many backside triple 16s this season. He's just been starting off with them in this late season. Alex Latorto putting one down. Perfect execution on that one. Love to see it. Well done, Alex. Next up, now we have him. Adrien Vodo from Switzerland. Starting it off. Switch going big on that first setup jump. He also has an 1800 in his bag. Here we go. Oh, going big. Oh, oh, where's the camera? No. Mess up on the camera. Oh. He went for the switch triple 14. Super good pop on that one. But I don't think we're going to get... A clear view of the landing. Maybe Adrien is going to get a rerun. This is going to be discussed right now. Yeah, they are just discussing it right now. Possibly Adrien is going to get a rerun for this one. Very unfortunate, actually, for Adrien. That one was looking very proper. That was... In any case, next up for the snowboarders, we're going to have another German in the start gate. It's going to be Noah Victor. Here we go. 
And Noah also has a backside 1800 in his trick bag. Not sure if we're going to see it today because he only landed it once, I believe. But who knows? It's a perfect day. It is a perfect it's day. It's one of those days where the boys are going to go out of their comfort zone. Here we go. Tosh, take it away. Here we go. Coming in, setting up front side. Front side 14. Oh. Couldn't quite hold on in the landing, but damn. That was looking so good. He went big as well. Yeah. And once again, we got to say these frontside rotations going big and over rotating frontside rotations is always super tough to keep that rotation intact and hold oh, yeah. on to that landing. Unfortunately for Noah Victor, not able to put that one down. Next up, we have Speldo. Mr. Simo Peltola from Finland, super stylish skier, very talented for sure. Here we go, coming into this first setup jump, little floaty 180, setting himself up, switch. Going for the switch left side. What? Oh. Was that switch left side single cork 14, I believe? I need to check the replay. Four. Oh my yeah. gosh, that is so hard to do. Doing a single cork and doing so many rotations in that single cork, that needs a lot of finesse right there. Putting it down and a very interesting approach to this final today from Mr. Speldo. Next up, one of your favorites probably. Back to the top, we're with Finn Finestone from Canada. boy! come on. This man has been on a tear this season. Also part of the Schmop gang. Whistler native. Setting up with a steezy back one. Come on, boy. Gotta go. Oh! oh. Switch front side, triple 1260. I think he was looking for the 14 right there. I think so. But that was, a, that was a good choice, honestly. Saving it pretty good. If he was yeah. going for the 14, pretty, pretty good save right there. I think he kind of lost that snap momentum right there couldn't quite get the rotation around to 14 but holding it down with a 1260 putting it down perfectly next up for france in the free ski department we have timothy roche youngster from france dropping in for his first run <laughs> a little ski jump right there coming in forward going for the right side rotation right side Double cork, 16-20. Oh, my God. Dude. To the bottom right there. What is going on right now? Amplitude Holy. to the moon. And stomping it right there. Timothy putting it down. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. We got Jules the Sluver with the pink helmet pinky on course ladies and gents watch out for this guy from belgium watch out because he's coming in hot always a smile on his face here we go focus is on he is tapped in coming in opted for the setup jump here he comes coming into the jump setting up backside Oh, oh my god. Dude, these guys are absolutely sending it today. <laughs> they are going I to mean, the bottom. I can't believe this right now. The takeoff wasn't looking too snappy, but he went to the bottom of this landing and actually almost putting it down right there. Going backside 1620. Maybe we can get another look at that landing. Yeah, right here. Look One, how far two, down he goes. Three. Oh! oh. And just getting smacked right there. Holy moly. Jules the Slover is so on right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh man. He's got another run to put that down. I mean, he's got two more runs to go. All the riders today have three runs. Maybe a little bit about the format right now. Three runs and the two best runs count. You need That's two... Right different tricks to make the best of it next up we have david wolf 
from Austria went absolutely crazy in qualifications yesterday. Here we go. He's super pumped right now. Boosting into this first jump, setting himself up, switch. switch. All right, here we go. Switch left side rotation coming up. What? Oh. I don't even know what to call this. I think that was a switch double 10 with an axis of a switch up 12. I mean, he's yeah. just inventing tricks right now. Holy moly. Very interesting to see where the judges are going to put this right now. But next up, another crazy rider all the way from New Zealand, the ATV Cam Melville Ives. This guy has been on a tear as well this season. For sure. Saw some of his practice runs, and man, he's looking good out there today. Super consistent as well. Setting up. Looks like he's coming to this jump regular. Oh, oh man. <sighs> Opting for the backside triple 16, but just couldn't quite get it under him. I think he slipped out on that takeoff a little bit too much. Just a bit. Oh, that is unfortunate. I think usually he tries to keep that backside rotation a little bit more on the flat side. So having some trouble on that takeoff. Unfortunately for Cam, not able to put down that backside triple 16-20 in round number one. Has two more chances to put things to play. Next up, first run coming in for Victor Maxiagin. Youngster from the Swiss team. Definitely one to watch out for. Super talented on the trampoline. And now let's see if he's able to put his tramp skills in to this jump. Here we go. Mentally focusing for this first jump. All right. Also riding in a t-shirt. Once again, the conditions are prime right now. Super warm conditions. Coming in switch for this first jump. Looking over the left shoulder. Switch left side rotation. Coming in. Switch left double misty. 1260 with the blunt grab. Oh wow. my goodness, I don't think, I'm not sure if he ever done that with the blunt grab, but perfect execution, holy moly. Making it look too easy out For there. For real, actually. And he's been smiling this whole time. During qualification, every time he came down to the third knuckle, he was smiling so hard. So he's just enjoying himself as much as possible. Next up for the snowboarders, first Japanese rider, and we are in for a treat right now. Yuto Miyamura getting ready for his first run of the day. Here we go. He's ready to drop in whenever. Visualizing that trick. He's going to go crazy for sure. That's for sure. He already took home second place in the slope style that we had on Wednesday. Now trying his luck in this big air final right now. Oh. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> First 1800 of the final. Yuto putting it down. Oh my goodness. And I think wow. we can call that a quad cork even. It was this infinite cork axis that the Japanese riders are known for. Yuto putting it down too easy for him. Holy shit. Man. Dude, it's a Props Euro Cup final. Yuto. And it's a back 18 right there. What? Oh my goodness. Wallace, too. That landing was it so looked, It looked too easy. It looked yeah. like a straight air landing. Yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, next free skier dropping in. We're going to have Alexis Gisleni from France dropping in for his first run. And this guy has been hyped during qualifications. Look at this body language right there. He is so on. Lazy Boy 360. Oh, Lazy Boy oh. 540 on that first one to set himself up. Switch right now. Here we go. Go and switch. Oh, switch <laughs> double bio 1620. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that axis as well. So flat. But keeping that style alive right there. Getting the hype from the homies as he deserves it right now. Oh my goodness.
absolutely crazy. I don't think we have seen anything less than a 14 right now. No. That is actually insane. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Next up, we got another Yuto Yamada dropping in. Also part of the Japanese Airlines team. <laughs> These guys got Steve, that's for sure. All right. Oh. 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 Oh, no. my gosh. Going for the front side. 16. 16. Just, just looping out in the landing. I mean... This is crazy right now. As I said before, we haven't seen anything less than a 1440, which is crazy. The final is so on right now. And next up for the free skiers, we have Kadi Gomis. Actually, got to give a shout out to the homie. He has been competing in the latest Slush Cup in Gran Valera, putting on a super steezy show right there. And now... In today's Euro Cup final, Kadi coming in right now. Setting himself up switch for this first attempt. Coming into the jump, going switch, double cork. Oh, switch, <laughs> double cork, 1800. I'm speechless right now. Wow, it is heating up out here. And it looks too easy for him as well. Switch, double, 1800 oh. for Kadi Gomis. Holy moly. Next up, we got Sam Vermat getting ready to drop in. From the Netherlands. Homie has been on a tear this season. Also getting his first World Cup podium in the Copper Big Air. Here we go. What's it going to be for the youngster dropping in? Hitting that first jump, doing a backside one, setting up switch. Oh, oh man. I'm, I mean, I don't know what to say right now. Yeah. Dude. Switch frontside, triple 16. And bolts on that landing. With the coach right there, the legend himself, Giacomo Crater, used to be the rock star professional snowboarder for Italy, now coach of the Netherlands team. Next up for the free skiers, we have another Swiss rider in the game. We have Nico Bollinger, actually local rider out here in Silva Plana, Korvac. So he knows this park inside and outside. Here we go, setting himself up switch for this first attempt. Going switch, left side, double. Oh! oh. Went for the switch, left side, double misty with the inside, outside safety grab. Just didn't get quite enough pop on no, that No, he, he kind of washed out on that takeoff, unfortunately. Zephyr Love Love. Oh, my God. Gotta love this, man. DJ oh, yes. Z-Dog. DJ Z-Dog. He was hyping it up yesterday so much. Yeah. I, I was enjoying him. I was enjoy watching his riding. He was just having a good time all around. And he's just such a character as well. Oh, yeah. He brings the best vibes to the mountain. For sure. Check out his Instagram for some hilarious content. All right. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Dude. Backside Man. 16 with the tail. What a what? crazy axis. Insane axis as you said and I mean I don't know right now how was he able to hold how on to that have? landing? I think he shook how he landed that. Yeah. That yeah. was insane right now. Next Swiss rider for the Swiss free ski team. And this guy also has a chance to take home the overall top spot for the Euro Cup season this season. Thierry Vili on course right now. Starting it off switch. Probably going to go for a switch double misty rotation. Here we go. Go and switch. Double misty. 60-20 oh, to the last <laughs> <laughs> to the absolute bottom. I, I can't right now. I and can't. rides away like it's nothing. Dude, it's the end of the season and these kids still have the power, the juice in their legs to hold on to these landings. Look <laughs> look where he's landing. On the last line. Oh, man. 
And it's too easy for him. <laughs> it's too easy. I can't believe it right now. Oh my goodness. Coach Greg Tusher is down there with him. Hyping him up for run number two. Next up, one to watch out for as well. All the way from New Zealand, the Kiwi. Tosh, who is it? Lion Farrell. So many good characters coming out of New Zealand, actually. So many good. Love They're to see They're so it. funny. Will we see the 18 right off the back? I hope so. Let's go. Here we go. Call it out. Backside. 18 with the <laughs> double nose grab. Oh, my grab. God. What Holy. is happening? I can't believe it. The hype is so real right now. Give it to him. I mean... That Perfect right crazy. there. Backside 1800 with the double nose grab. He's the only rider in the world doing this trick right now. Putting it down absolutely flawless right there. Holy moly. Next up for the free skiers. Once again, we have another French rider. We have Sven Peye on course. Has been killing it in qualifications already. Now, let's see if he has the power to put something down in this first run. Here we go. Setting himself up with a 180 on that first one. Now, coming in switch for this first attempt. Going switch. What? Switch double 10? Switch double 7? I mean, he's defying yeah. physics right now. I think that's a Jesper Theater trick right there the switch double 720 looking like he was going for a 10 but then pulls it back defying physics right there absolutely crazy Sven Peye putting it down run number one boom next up we got Hiroto Ogiwara an absolute animal on the snowboard and already took home the W in the slope style competition on his last run actually on Wednesday insane show we had and now Hiroto coming in First guy to actually ever put down a backside 2160. Let's see what's it going to be on this first run, Tosh. Man, we're going to see something crazy. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> backside 18. Going large. Holy. Oh, my goodness. A little bit of maybe, a hand drag. Maybe just a bit of a hand drag. But, I mean, it's an 1800 right there. Yeah. This is insane. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it right now. <laughs> we still got two riders to go. This is crazy. In the snowboard. Next up, for the free skiers, we have James Pouch from Great Britain. Keeping it down. Holding it down, pardon me. Coming in forward to this first jump. Here we go. Going left side. Double cork, 1440 with the mute grab, styling it out, full control. Making it look easy. And going nice and big right there, perfect landing. James Pouch, flawless right there. Johnny Blaze in the chat, was that a bring back? Yes, it was a bring back. Absolutely crazy right now. Back to the top, we're with the border. Loris from our end. Oh, I love this guy. Homie is snowboard pure and not only good on the jumps, but a rail wizard as well. Bringing some unique style to the competition right now. What will he bring to the table on this first run? Front under flip five to set him up. Oh. 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 Switch backside looks like switch backside 16 with a Japan tweak. What? Wow, that tweak is Dude. something else. And once again, Loris Framarin setting himself apart from the rest of the field, doing a trick that nobody That's else right. is doing with that switch backside 1620 with the Japan grab. Absolutely insane right there. Next up, another Swiss rider, and this guy is currently in the top spot for the overall European Cup ranking. So he needs to put something down here if he wants to keep that first place. Here we go, Fadri Rinder on course. 
Starting it off with the left side double cork. 1620 oh. to the bottom with the cube and grab as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was actually a stale fish grab, not quite the tip of the tail, but still. Left side double 1620 with the stale fish grab to the bottom. Oh my goodness. Holy. This is insane right now. And we still have two more riders left to drop, I think. Two more riders for run one. Oh my gosh. Next up from Japan, we got Kira Kimura dropping in for his first run. Also one of the young up-and-coming riders from Japan. Oh. Setting up for this jump. Switch. Wow. Going switch backside, triple 16. So smooth. Absolutely perfect on that one. Whipping oh. it around right there and just putting things down. Yeah. Easy money for him. He is happy. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's crazy to say that a 1620 is normal in this final right now. But that's where we're at right now. That's the level, right. level is absolutely to the roof right now. And this next rider also has a chance to take home the overall top spot of the Euro Cup ranking, if I'm not mistaken, Julius Forra. Starting things off with a front flip blunt grab right there, keeping the steez alive. Here we go, boosting into this first attempt. Going double cork, 16-20. With the after bang. Oh, yeah. Holding it down for Austria. Beautiful double 16-20 with the Japan grab. Keeping it stylish right there. Holy moly. That was a crazy... That was the first round. First run. I mean, what? Of the final. That is crazy right now. We haven't seen anything less than a 1440, which is crazy in my mind. Well, actually, in the free ski department, we've seen a 1260 and a crazy double bring back 720. But still, I mean, this is insane. And in first place for the snowboarders, Lion Farrell, well-deserved with that backside 18 Double nose grab. And the two Japanese guys right back at him. Oh, my gosh. Holy. And this is crazy. Chema Mazet brown in 10th place with a 68.7 with a perfect front side triple 14. I mean, that's just insane. Just shows what the level is yeah, right now. The level these, is up there. These finals. It's crazy. It is. Just waiting on the scores for these first runs to come in, and then we'll be back at the top for run number two. Yeah, the judges are not having an easy time today. <laughs> not at all. All right, here we go. The current rankings for the free skiers after run number one. Thierry Ville in first place with a 91 point. Oh, actually, we have two first places. Alex Gisleni and Thierry Ville both with a 91.3. So this is going to be very interesting to see. Absolutely crazy riding right there. I still can't believe what is going down right now. I mean, I'm in a t-shirt right now, but I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm sweating right now. This is crazy. Last competition for the free skiers and second to last competition for the snowboarders. And we are back for round number two starting it off once again with Moritz Breu from Germany I mean he already put down a perfect backside triple 14 yep let's see what he has in store for us in run number two here we go Showing us that little tweak on the first jump. Coming in second jump. Going to be front side. Oh. Lost camera on oh, that one. Something went wrong there. 
looked like front double 12, but I couldn't yeah, quite tell. Yeah, pretty sure front up 12. But I think the camera froze right there. Not sure what was going on, but Moritz Broy went for the front side double 1260 with the melon grab. And it is crazy to say this, but this level, it is World Cup level right now. That's We've right. seen multiple 1800s, and it's just the first round. It's going to be absolutely crazy. And I hope all of you guys are enjoying this show for sure. And make sure to share the link of the live stream so that all in the world know that this show is happening right now. We want more viewers in the chat. We have 282 viewers right now. Shout out to all of you. Make sure to tell your parents, tell your friends that we have an amazing show right now. World Cup level riding in this Euro Cup final right now. It's a blast. Going to be good for sure. Going to be a show. You Hell do yeah. not want to miss out on this for it's sure. It's crazy. Actually crazy. All right. They're currently checking what is wrong with the camera. A little bit of a delay right now, but still we're keeping it real out here. Maybe let's take another look at the current standings. So, very, very interesting in the free ski department. We have two people with the same score in first place. We have Alexis Kisleni with a 91.33 and Thierry Vili with a 91.33. So, the same score for two different tricks, I believe. Yes, they were different. And uh, very interesting to see what's going to happen in these uh, next two runs, for sure. It's not often you see a two-way tie for first. Yeah, exactly. And in the snowboard division, I mean, we've seen how many 18s? At least four 18s. I mean, that is just crazy. Countless four 18s. 16s. It's, it's fucked right now. It's it is crazy. crazy. It is absolutely insane. And currently sitting in first, we have Lion Farrell with a backside 18 double nose. He's the only guy in the world to do this trick right now. Absolutely crazy. And um, in second place, we have Yuto Miyamura, I believe, did a backside 18. 18. Yep. Or almost backside quad cork 18, which is even crazier. And then Hiroto Ogiwara in third place with another backside 18, which is... Absolutely crazy. First three spots, all 1800s. It's the trick of the wow. day. It's the trick of the day, for sure. Yeah. For sure. All right. Maybe let's also get that chat involved a little bit more. Give us a little preview. Who do you have on the podium for one, two, and three in free ski or snowboard division? Let us know what you think of these current standings and let us know your prediction of the final result. Luis Marchese, hey, eh? no, I'm not going to go on Fortnite <laughs> right now. <laughs> Shut it already, okay? We're not Please. streaming Fortnite, we're streaming Big Air Finals. Fortnite stream coming soon, though. No, I'm just kidding, I'm never going to stream Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me a break right now. Better watch this live stream. I hope we're going to be back on soon. I think we have a little bit of an issue with the camera down there. Looked like it was frozen. So maybe the battery of the camera is not working right now. We are trying to figure out what's going to happen in the next couple of minutes. But please stay tuned. Stay with us. And we're going to be right back with more action in a little bit. That's right. You do not want to want to miss out today. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to be a show. One for the books. It is way too nice right now. As you said before, it is so warm right now. Perfect weather. I mean, perfect t-shirt weather as you can see. It is. And there's another look at the ranking. So chat, let us know your prediction for today's podium after this first run. Braden's got a prediction in from Canada. Keenan, Finn, and Joe. All Coach right. Joe, they're going to sweep Joe. Oh, yeah. the podium. I mean, he's a winner already with a team like that. Yeah. For sure. Okay, interesting prediction interesting. from Luis Marchese. 
says Alex Lotorto in third place, Hiroto in second, and Lion in first. And here we get another look at the free ski ranking. Free skiers in the chat, let us know your prediction for today's final result. Current standings, pretty interesting to see these two similar scores in one and two right now. Definitely going to be interesting to see what's going to go down in these next couple of runs. Leo Landro, Fadri on top. Hell yeah. <laughs> Love to see it. I believe you're from Norway. Am I correct, Leo? Pretty sure he's from Norway. And also, if I remember correctly, first World Cup podium this season as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. Another prediction. Yuto Miyamura in first, Rocco in second, and Zephyr in third. That is very nice to see. Shout out to Zephyr. Let's go, Zephyr. My boy Z Dog. We'd love to see him on the podium today for sure. He's such a nice dude. Always smiling, always doing some shenanigans out there. All right. There's a lot of Fortnite fans yeah. in the chat. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? Get a life, man. <laughs> Get a life. Go out and board or skate or go to the lake. I don't know what, but it is way too nice right now to play Fortnite, guys. It is. Get outside. Get outside. Get Enjoy into the, the nature. Yeah, man. Get some vitamin D going right there. Yeah. But make sure you get some sunscreen, otherwise you're going to get this. You're going to look like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious. That is so good. It I is. Love that. Oh. I love that. Still 265 people in the chat. Looks like we're entertaining good enough. And maybe a little story about this one. We actually broke the trophy yesterday. No, on Wednesday in the stream. Uh, still very sorry about it. And maybe let's talk a little bit about this guy right here. Showing it to the camera. Can it focus? I don't quite see it. Dave Ortliep, the man, the myth, the legend. This is going to be his last competition. He is one of the organizers of all of these events, has been working for Swiski and FIS for the past five years, and he has been doing such a, good, such a great job. And we're definitely going to miss him. Very unfortunate that he's going to leave. But shout-out to Dave Ortliep, always Holding it down for the freestyle scene. Love to see it. We will miss you. Shout out to Dave. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dave for sure. And in general, also shout out to the whole organization team, the whole staff. We got the judges right next to us. Judges always deserving my respect because they have the hardest job in the world. They've been hated on in the past a lot. But... At the end of the day, there's always going to be someone that is hating. That is just how it is. But, I mean, just got to gotta do their jobs, you know. And it's hard. They have to do the hard decisions that nobody else wants to do. So shout out to the judges. Shout out to FEM Service for providing us with the scoring system. They've been with the Swiss Tour for a long, long time now. I don't even know for how long, but it has been a quite a long time always providing us with a nice system that we can check our scores. Mm. And, I mean, even shout-out to, to Sunrise. we got to give a huge shout-out to Sunrise, the main partner of Swiski. And these are the guys that make it possible that we can have a stream right now. Shout-out to Sunrise for providing the gear, the screens, and everything. It is just amazing to see that we can have a stream like this. Shout-out to Sunrise. Shout-out to everybody right now. Okay, message just came in. The camera is about to start back up. We're almost ready for more action. Get ready, people. We are back on track in a couple of minutes. Sorry for the quick interference right there, but the camera gear, maybe it even overheated. Possibly overheated. Possibly. It sure. is hot out there. It is way too hot right there. But still waiting for the cameras to get back up and then we're going to get right back in to run number two actually perfect timing that we were able to get run number one done and over with 
So now just yeah. a nice little break for all the riders. They can get their tan game up, get some more yoga in there, <laughs> get that beach vibe. Maybe some sunscreen, Oh yeah, some water. I mean, got to get that sunscreen, man. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to look like a lobster at the end <laughs> of the day for sure. <gasps> Definitely. All right. Johnny Blaze is Team Swisscom. Yeah, I mean, can't hate on Swisscom. They also kill it, but major shout-out to Sunrise for sure. Mm -hmm. Nicola Galli in the chat as well. Love to see the youngster from Italy out there. Can you do a flip? We have a flip request in the chat. I don't this room think, is pretty tight. I don't think we have the room here to do a flip, unfortunately. No. We would break the other half of the Yeah. Trophy. We don't wanna we, we don't wanna make it worse than it already is. Yeah. So. Look at it. Yeah. But yeah, I think we're gonna start it up in a couple of minutes. Hopefully. Um we're kinda losing conversation <laughs> right now, I'm not <laughs> gonna lie. It's a little <laughs> bit hard right now. Maybe let's talk about Schmob. How did Schmob How did Schmob start? start? I think it was just some random mix of words that one of our friends came up with. It's a combination of snowboard and mob, and we called it Schmob. That's actually so sick. And we just stuck with the name, and here we are making Instagram edits, shredding around the world. Oh, yeah. Meeting new people. I love to see that, actually. Yeah. Go check out Schmob on Instagram. Go give them a follow. Go check out their edits. It's just nice to see... A snowboard crew that is purely for the love of snowboarding. That's right. Definitely, that's what it's all about, in my opinion. Shout Just having to fun. The schmob. We always have fun out there. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, that's what it's all about for sure. So you're going to have uh, some more time in Whistler, maybe, after this? When is Whistler going to close yeah. down? Yeah, we'll, uh, after this trip to Europe, we'll head back to Canada, go to the Holy Bully. Oh, That's my always God. a fun event. That must be nice. Ride with some boarders there, and then the Whistler season doesn't end till end of May. <laughs> Y'all are lucky out there, man. Yeah, that we is are. insane. I don't know if we have anything in Switzerland that is staying up until the end of May. We used to have the Cramontana Spring Session, which was, I think, until middle of May or end of May. I don't know. But love to see... That Whistler is providing. Yeah. Got to go out there for sure someday. If you can make it out there, it's worth the trip. Looks like we got Schmob in the chat. Oh, Schmob is in the chat. Let's oh. go. <laughs> Saying I look like a snack? Oh, man. I mean, look at that face. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing. Or is it the sunburn? <laughs> is it the summer or, <laughs> or is, is he it? blushing? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Love to see it. Zorzi. Who is Zorzi? Do you know this guy? I do not know Zorzi. Oh, I do know Zorzi. <laughs> Another fellow Schmob member, I would oh. say. He's hitting us with some interesting emojis. Oh. Okay. Love to see that. Oh, Johnny Blaze, Zermatt. I don't think that... Yeah, maybe they're up until the end of May. That could be possible. But I haven't been to Zermatt that much, unfortunately. Um... But it's nice times for sh for sure, and they always provide a nice uh, summer park, super chill vibes up there for sure. Very rail heavy, and if they get the snow they need, they can provide a very nice and fun line to shred it up in summer for sure. But I think maybe I'm even going to go to New Zealand this late summer yeah. if I'm going to be able to. And you told me you're going to go for Australia. Yeah, Australia. Go Is ahead. that already fixed or... Uh, not quite fixed yet, but it will be soon. All right. Got to get that plane ticket as early as possible. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> Keep the, price, the prices man, down. Yeah, man, the price is too heavy for this one. Because, yeah, Perisher is always a good time out there. Yeah, I mean, I saw some clips. I mean, I see the clips all the time during summer. Mm -hmm. And Perisher looks so fun. Like, just uh, not the biggest park, but, like, you can do so many laps, I heard, with the yeah. T-bar lift. It's got, like, a private T-bar just for the park. It's so sick. Short laps, but tons of it. For sure. And if the weather is good, 
it it has to be good. It's I mean, on. It looks so nice out there for sure. Yeah. Definitely a good time. If you get the chance to get to Australia, go visit Perisher or even Threadbow. Have you been to Threadbow? I have not been to Threadbow. Just Perisher because it works with our epic passes Yeah, that we have. We can just ride there for free. Oh, that's sick. Much. That is so nice. Oh, Lion Farrell is in the chat. <laughs> Current leader. Boy, you need to focus up for run number two. I want to see you go big, my dog. Question. If you could ask Elon Musk one thing, what would it be? That is very interesting. That is interesting. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking of something right now. Elon Musk. What would I ask him if I met him in person? I mean, he has some pretty interesting names for his children. Does he? Yeah, like, not weird, but, like, super interesting, I guess. Like, a, I don't even know, like, numbers in the <laughs> in the in name, name, which is crazy. <laughs> but uh. maybe I would ask him how that he came up with these interesting names. That's a good Let's question. Let's put it at this. The most baddiest snowboard in food. <laughs> <laughs> also, another tough one. Actually, tough I one. don't know. We got Sunkissed Ray out there. I don't. Is, is there a Canadian Sunkissed Ray? No, I think she was. She was in Oz this past okay. summer when I was there. But, but are we talking influencer in a way that she's just like the social media type snowboarder? Or are we talking snowboard in general and just present on social media? Because there's a yeah. lot of a lot of baddies out there on the social media world for sure. For sure. Give us a little bit more intel on that question, please and thank you. <laughs> we got a question for you, Lon. When's the next POV video? Oh coming yeah. Out? Oh yeah. I want I want more POV. We do. Make sure to check out Lion Farrell's YouTube channel for some nice POV videos. Definitely right. worth watching. And maybe you can learn some things or two from, from his POVs for sure. And also, Lion, I have a question for you. When's the next... I don't even know what you call that character, but... <laughs> you know which character I mean, I know right? the character. I want to see another hilarious video of the of the Jerry character you yeah. created. I love that guy. <laughs> Truth Smith is the baddiest influencer. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's pretty bad. He is bad. I mean, he's he's very handsome. Gotta say. <laughs> oh, okay. We got, we got confirmation. Lion Farrell dropping another POV this Tuesday. Love it. Okay, stay tuned this Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Gotta go on the tube and watch out for that video. The chat is blowing up right now. I love to see it. I love it. Can we get some more questions in the chat? Talk to us. What do you want to know? We are happy to answer anything. Still waiting for the camera. This is a little unfortunate right now. I am sorry that we have this waiting game right now, but we are doing our best to provide you very, very sure. Mm. Oh, preview already. Lion Farrell. A little leak going to be World Cup practice. So a little BTS behind the scenes video from Lion Farrell of the World Cup. Okay, I think I just heard what the problem is right now. We are working on the internet connection. There is no internet connection at the moment for the cameras. So they cannot provide us with mm the pictures that we need to run this competition which is very unfortunate yeah really do hope that we get that internet problem fixed real soon gonna be a tough one Zorzi is asking if you're going to Salzburg <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> you tell me Zorzi are we I don't know have you been to Salzburg no it's never very nice place they have some nice skate parks as well Okay, I brought my skate. Oh, perfect. So we could go. It's a very nice skate park there. Under under the bridge, if I remember correctly. Very nice Ooh. one. Also good in hot conditions, so you stay in the shade. Yeah. Very nice concrete skate park. Oh, now we're cooking. Would you win against Roger Ooh. Federer if he only has 
a telephone pen, a Teflon pen. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm going to put this out there. I'm going to win against him for sure. I've been putting in some work in the tennis life. So, Roger Federer, if you're out there, let's make it happen. Let's make a video out of it. You against me. You with a Teflon pen and me with a real racket. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Favorite biceps exercise? Oh, you want to answer that one? <laughs> Just curls, baby. Oh, Just yeah, curls. gotta get them curls. I mean, gotta get that biceps Oof. going. <laughs> no, I don't know what my favorite biceps exercise is, but curls are pretty, pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Cops and schmobbers, Braden. I'll tell you more about that. We're gonna. It's gonna be up on YouTube in the next probably day. So stay tuned for that. We just made a video for the Whistler Film Festival Ooh. and came second place. What? So that hey, video will be on up one, on man. YouTube. They didn't know that. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, that is a heater of a video. So are you going to put it on YouTube? Yep, Schmob YouTube. All Go right. check it out. Check out Schmob YouTube in that case. Love to see it. Another question for Taj. What's your favorite trick? Very mm. tough one, actually. That is a tough one. Zorzi for you. I'll say backlit pretzel for you because you're a rail guy. <sighs> I know you're a rail guy. Regular backlit pretzel? Regular backlit All pretzel. Right. So you are a frontboard and backlit pretzel guy? Yeah. Love that. That's me. I suck at frontboards, honestly. I'm way better at switch frontboards, so I only do oh. switch frontboard pretzels. So. Oh, that's a Zorzi trick. Switch that's a Zorzi pretzel. trick, actually. All right, shout out to Zorzi. Love to see that. Oh, <laughs> that Lion Farrell with the nicest question right there. Who wins in a street fight? Young Dolly versus Slappy Border. Snappy Border. Sna Slappy. It says Slappy, is it? He corrected himself. Oh, Snappy Border. Street Who's Snappy fight. Border, actually? I don't know. The border that comes up and hits the rails from the side and does flips out. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. That's tough. Oh, that is very tough. A street fight between Young Dolly but, I mean, honestly, and Snappy Border. I know Dolly personally. I don't want to step <laughs> in too close, but I I reckon he's a little too cooked from time to time. So I I would say Snappy Border would win a street fight. Just putting it out there. Yeah. Um, My bets are on Snappy Border. Yeah. But I think I think Young Dolly has been putting in some work in the gym as well from every now and then. So definitely... It's going to be an interesting fight. Maybe we can get it happen. Maybe we Would can live nice. stream it. Oh, maybe we can live stream it even. <laughs> Starting off our streaming career. Love to see it. Raw clips or fire edits from Baron. Mm, that is tough. Mm. It depends on the clips. Like if it's a super, super hard trick and you you feel like the hype is there, then I think the raw clip can be super nice to watch. Yeah. I agree or, with or that. Or if it's just satisfying to watch with the sound and everything, then a raw clip can be super dope. But I'm all for, for funky edits for sure. Yeah. Like it's a lot of fun to edit as well. I mean, I've been, even though I'm injured, I've been trying to to put out some nice Insta edits and I'm really enjoying to to do edits with uh, with house music. I'm kind of a house music guy. Yeah, that's fun. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to to do some nice videos for sure. What about you? What What are your uh, favorite? Definitely, if the edits. raw clip, yeah. if it's a trick that deserves just to be alone, yeah, just a standout, just trick. a standout trick, then that would be the go-to. But I'm all in for the edits. I love making edits, oh, yeah, especially it's so much for fun, Schmob. Right? Yeah, it's so good. If you have the clips for the edit, it's, yeah, it's just so much fun for sure. All right, we're still figuring out this internet situation. We're trying to keep you entertained as much as possible. Jeremy Jones versus Jeremy Jones. I don't know what to... Jeremy what, Jones versus Jeremy Jones. What do you mean with that? The same person? Does he mean the same Street person? Street Jeremy Jones versus backcountry oh. Jeremy Jones. Ooh, that is also tough. I'm a backcountry ja guy, but... Street Jeremy Jones is he's pretty, pretty sick. He's pretty badass. Yeah. Not gonna lie. And I think I have to put some more respect to Street Jeremy Jones because he's one of the older guys in the field putting it down. So definitely, for me, it's going to be Street Jeremy mm -hmm. Jones for sure. 
House or techno? Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm more of a house kind of guy. But if the techno is nice, I could go for some good techno all day for sure. <laughs> for all stars. <laughs> come <Fortnite>. on, man. <laughs> come. With these video game questions. I mean, come on. I mean, of course, I'm going to choose Fortnite because... I don't play Brawl Stars, but yeah, I'm a nerd. I know, yeah. nerd out here. We nerding out. In the meantime, I'm gonna crack a little Tony. Gotta get hyped. Stay hyped. Stay hyped. Peter Lotz is in the chat. Shout out to Peter, actually. Homie put down an insane front set double fourteen yesterday. Absolutely killed it, Peter. Love to see it. Shout out to Germany. Hit us with some more questions, chat. Let's go. Keep them coming. We want to we wanna get some more crazy questions. We want them. Clash Royale or Minecraft? <laughs> oh, man. It's been a while since I've been on Minecraft. So I'm, I'm going to go with Clash Royale. It's... It's a fun game, I gotta say. Especially with you, Zorzi. Playing with you is pretty fun. I've been on the Clash Royale trip for sure myself. Not anymore. But Clash Royale, that, that's definitely a good one. Yeah. <laughs> What's about woman performance on ski and snowboard on this season 2024? Interesting question, and I feel like there's a lot of guys out there that always think that the women have to perform better, but I feel like the women's skiing and snowboarding has been improving over the past couple of years, like immensely, especially like because of events like the the nines, yeah, where they just throw down in a in an atmosphere that is so relaxed and so laid back. That you just feel so comfortable to do new tricks, and also, I th I think because of the airbags, the ladies have been getting more comfortable to throw down harder tricks. So the level of the ladies is definitely gonna get up there, and we've seen it firsthand here today we in have. the Euro Cup. And it's just been a Euro Cup, and we've seen a 14:40 being tried. So the ladies' level definitely getting up there, and also like girls like Kokomo Murase. Yeah, that are just putting it out there, stomping back triple fourteens like it's, like it's uh, the easiest thing in the world. So I think people like her are definitely needed for other girls to get inspired and to see like, oh, it is actually possible for us to go there for and sure. to stomp these tricks. Sure, I think it's in a great place right now. For sure, the women's sure. ski and snowboard it's level is just there. it's getting up there for sure. All it's right, in a great place with style and spins and creativity <laughs> somebody has to do a flip you're losing viewers i'm sorry <laughs> we cannot do a flip right now it's too it's too packed in here yeah, it's, it it's really it's it's not possible i'm sorry would you win against odermatt if he only got ice skates on <laughs> 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 but that depends though do i get a snowboard or do i get a pair of skis because if I get a snowboard, I think I could beat him, potentially. But Odi is, is just, he's on a different level right now, for sure. Let's see. Yeah, Mathilde Grimaud killed it this season. Definitely agree with you, Johnny Blaze, on that one. Mojo in the chat, much love to the girls. Yeah, I think they actually have the uninvited competition right now, the girls' competition only in uh, Woodward Copper. Yeah. I believe the final is going to go down right now. And make sure to check out the uninvited on, I think they have an Instagram page, I'm not sure. But they provide a super sick platform for all the ladies to, to get out there, to perform, to show what they are able to do. So shout out to the uninvited, actually killing it. They are. Which movie character would you want to have an epic battle with? Whoa. <laughs> movie character? Can we do TV cartoon character? I think that's everything. Like everything. just in general, movie character for sure. Oh, that is very tough. Uh, I don't know. I'll go with One Punch Man. Oh, man. <laughs> I, would ha I would have to beat him. You, you want to feel? You want to feel how it I feels? I want to feel that One Punch. Oh man. <laughs> Dude, I love that. 
honestly, I mean, I wouldn't want to have a fight against him, but I would love to have a foot race against Tom Cruise, the man that is always running in his movies. Mm. I would want to mm. know how fast he actually is. Yeah. Definitely interesting race. That would be, I would go to watch that race. Uninvited was yesterday. Oh. Oh. Looks like we're back. We've got live feed. <gasps> Are we back? Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure to get back to it. Make sure to share the link on your social so we can get this stream out there. The first round of the Big Air Final is already through, and we've seen insanity going down. Here we go. I think Rocco Jameson is not the next rider. Oh, ah, I think Mor yeah, Moritz Broy went for his second run already, but the camera froze up on that one. That's right. So possibly Moritz Broy is going to get a rerun for this second attempt. All right, we're almost ready for action once again. Make sure to stay with us. The stream is going back up. Let's go. Damn, it's been a while now. It has. We got hit with some good questions. Definitely. Shout out to the chat right there. Shout out to the chat. All right. Almost ready to rock. Get that hype back up. I think it's going to be a free skier dropping in next. Pretty sure. Waiting patiently right now. Yes, Johnny Blaze in the chat. Love you, man. You are keeping it real out there. Yeah, keep the hype up, man. Hell yeah. Okay, I believe it's correct. Rocco looks like he's getting ready to drop right now. Okay. And honestly, he already put down that back 14, so get ready for another 1,800, I believe. Tosh, you want to take it go. over? Let's Big go. Rocco dropping in. Floaty straight around the first jump. Set himself up. <laughs> that was the wrong <laughs> camera, dude. I think that was a front 18, right? I think that was a front oh 18. Oh, my God. He just put that down. He's getting props from the guy at the bottom. Yeah, for sure. Oh, my goodness. Rocco Jameson going for the front side 1800 with that tail grab as well. Wrapping it around. Hopefully, we can get a nice replay on yeah, that Yeah, replay one. would be nice. Okay, I think because we are delayed, we're going to have to skip on these replays, unfortunately, so we can get done with the competition in time. Next up for the free gears, we're going to have Kashu Sato from Japan putting down his first run with a 56. Now... Boosting in to that first jump, setting himself up switch with a 180. Here we go. Going switch, double misty. Oh, oh, switch double misty 12, but just a little in the back seat right there. Not quite able to put things down. Very unfortunate right now. And we have a question in the chat from Peter Lotz. Rerun for Moritz. I don't know. We have to wait and see if he gets another run. Not 100% certain, but next up for the snowboarders, we have Pedro Pizarro on course, who just landed his first 1800 yesterday in qualifications. Tosh, let me know what's happening right now. Will we see an 18? Oh, oh he went <laughs> for it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Went for the 18. Crazy. Couldn't get a grab in there, but respect for the send. Yeah, respect for trying it right there for sure. Wow. Oh, man. It is crazy to see that we are at a Euro Cup competition with 1,800s left and right <laughs> in the... Actually, I'm a little surprised that we've seen more 1,800s in the snowboard division compared to the free ski division. So That's right. Because I thought that the free skiers have more 1800s in them, but 
That's how she goes sometimes. Here we go. Next snowboarder dropping in. We got Shema up for second run. All right, Shema, give it up. Will he clean up the front 14 or will he go for... Does he have a back 16? Or cab. Oh, or cab, true. We'll see. Yeah. Going in switch. I think we we'll go. see a cab. Take it away. Shema with the cab right. 14, putting it down. That is actually a strategic move, I believe, for that Shema. Was. Landed two of three runs. He's got one more. Will he up to an 18 or a 16? That would be very nice, actually. Shema putting down that perfect cap 14, tweaking that grab as well. Next up, we have Mr. Oberauch, Niklas Oberauch from Italy. Dropping in for his second run. Oh, beautiful on that nose grab. Shifty once again. Coming into this second run. Going single. Cork 1260. Ooh. Wow. Very technical right very there. Technical. Maybe looks a little bit easier compared to the other tricks, but it is very hard to keep a 1260 at a single flip. And Mr. Oberauch making it look too easy right there. Wowee. Next up, fellow Canadian rider Keenan Demchuk getting ready to drop in. D couldn't quite put his trick down on oh, the true, first run. True. Here we go. Put it down for the schmob Let's go, right Kenan. there. Give it. He's going to go, go for it again, I think. Back for sure. The backside triple 16. Oh, just not quite the snap he was looking for off the takeoff. Oh, that is unfortunate. And we have to say that mm. it is not too easy right now. We had like, I think, half an hour of a break right now, almost half an hour of a break. Yeah. And the takeoff probably got a little bit more soft. So not the easiest condition right now when we're talking snow, but the weather is still holding up. Perfectly. And next up for the free skiers, we have the first Swiss rider dropping in for a second run. We have Lars Ruchti doing it for Switzerland. Here we go. Dropping in switch for a second run. Going switch. Double bio. 1260. Oh. Putting it down. Nicely stomped from Lars Ruchti. Well Very done. nice. Also, respect to this guy. I mean, Half an hour of a break, and then getting right back into it. Very nicely done. Yeah. Oh, next up, another Swiss ripper. I love to see it. Alex Latorto, the only Swiss rider that made finals. Here we go. Tosh, take it away. Dropping in. Coming in, looks like he's opting for the jump. Setting up switch, coming into the second jump. What will we see from... Alex, come on. Wow. Switch back double 12. Very nicely done. Very right clean, there. very clean. Beautifully done. And I'm not sure if Alex has a switch back 1620. Because I know for a fact that he has a cap 14, a very nice cap 14, but that doesn't fly with the judges. He has to use two different spinning directions. That's right. To get the maximum amount of points. Next up, we have Valentin Auer currently sitting at the bottom of the leaderboard. Has to put something down right now. Coming in switch. Going for the switch triple again. Oh! oh. So close so once close. again. Same type of bail yeah. on the first run. Very similar. Not quite getting it underneath him. Just Not bit quite. of a back slap. Yeah. Very unfortunate right there for Valentin Auer. Next Next up for the snowboarders is Noah Victor, not Alex. We got Noah Victor dropping in next. From Germany. What does Noah have for us here? He's coming in with some speed. Come on. 
Going front side oh, 14 dude. and just washing out of the land in oh. Noah. Very, very tough to see for the young German. This is tough conditions out here. Yeah. The landing is getting beat up. And especially on these front side spins. Yeah. So hard to keep that landing proper. And next up we have Colby Johnson for the free skiers dropping in for his second run. Already putting down a 74.3 in his first run. Here we go. Over the knuckle, getting as much speed as possible. Going for a right side rotation. Right side double cork, 1620. Oh, wow. With the Japan grab as well, putting it down super perfect right there. He He's, is stoked. Look yeah. at that smile. He's having a good one today. That's for sure. And here we have him, Moritz Broy getting a rerun as we were thinking about it. Here we go. Moritz dropping in for his rerun on run number two. Oh, <laughs> setting up with a backflip. Adding some flavor. Frontside wow. double 12, and he and puts it down. Let's go. I wonder, well I really do wonder if he landed that first attempt as well. Yeah, we could Or if tell. he couldn't, it, like, we couldn't see the landing on this first, uh, on his second run. This was his third run with a rerun. So maybe, I mean, he got lucky for sure, like putting it down perfectly in this yeah. second attempt right there. Very nice to see. Here we go next. Swiss free skier Adrien Vodo dropping in in the t-shirt right now. Sun's out, sleeves up. Coming in right now. Forward. Going for Oh, lovely double, double. cork 14. Oh my gosh. Tweaking it as well. With the tail grab, very nicely done right there. And he went two for two, I think. Two runs, two landed runs, perfectly done. Love to see it. Oh, and this next rider, come on, boy. Come on. We got Finn Finestone, one of the steeziest riders in the game right now. The finest, for sure. He is the finest. Literally. Dropping in, will he set up switch again? Looks like it. Huge back <laughs> one. Oh, my God. Come on, boy. Oh, <sighs> switch back double ten. It looks like he wanted more out of that. Yeah, I think he wanted that triple. I think so. We saw him put it down yesterday yeah. in qualifiers. But couldn't quite get that snap right there out of the takeoff. Unfortunate for Finn. But he has still another run to try and put things down. Next up, we have Speldo a.k.a. Simo Peltola from Finland. Also landed his first run. Here we go. Setting himself up for run number two. Coming in. Going left side. Oh, oh. left side top 16 with the double grab. Saucing it up right there. Wow. That was a cool one to see. That double grab. That added was some proper. flavor to yeah, that. Yeah, that was proper as well. Like, grabbed the first one, held on to it, and then switched it at the end to the Japan grab. Absolutely sick to see. We got Jules, pig helmet man, dropping in for run number two. And he has to put something down right now if he wants a chance to get onto that podium. He's going to go for that back trip 16 once again. Come on, Jules. I'll go in front side. Front side double 14. Wow. And, and puts it down. Wow. And claiming it as well. Love to see that. He is hyped on that one for sure. And he has like the perfect front side double 14 axis with that indie yeah. grab as well. Beautiful. Putting Beautiful. that down in the slush too. Props to Jules. Next up for the free skiers, we have Timothy Roche putting one down in that first run already. Oh, with a late 180 right there. 
once again adding that flavor. Coming in switch. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was looking very well for a second right there. Switch double cork 14 with the mute grab. Almost getting hung up on the takeoff and dabbing it out right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can. Melville's strapping and he's tightening up those bindings because this man is going to chuck. Oh, yeah. Will we see an 18? Will we see a 16? We're going to see it very soon. I think he has to put something down right now if That's he wants right. to play with the big dogs in top three. Better take off this time. Oh! Yeah. Perfect backside Dude. 16. Flawless right there. That was flawless. Absolutely insane. To He's got to be stoked with that. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Next up for the free skiers, we have David Wolf from Austria putting down that super crazy looking switched up, switched up 10, I believe you can say. With that pullback rotation in there, now coming in for his second run of today. He's going to go for the left side rotation. Oh, what? What? Oh. Left side double flat spin with, I don't even know. I think that was a bow and arrow grab. And not quite sure of the rotations, but I think either 1260 or 1620. But insane axis on that one. Holy moly. And he's also the only guy to do this rotation. So super sick to see right there. Yuto Miyamura dropping in. He did land his first run. What will he throw in his second run here for us today? Looks like he's going front side. Front what? side 16. <laughs> oh my Just god. Just sneaked it around in the landing. That was incredible. Holy moly. That is actually insane. I would have loved to see a replay on that one. He just squeezed that frontside 1620 around right at the end. Perfect landing, though. Oh, my goodness. That Went was for the incredible. backside 18 in the first one, right? Backside 18, the frontside 16. Wow, that is that is one hell of a combo right there. Next up, we have Victor Maxi again from Switzerland. Solid performance in that first run. Will we see something big right now? Going for the double cork 14 to the bottom with the blunt grab. He is too chill with that one. Oh my goodness. And he's smiling once again. <laughs> I mean, come on. Got to give it to him right there. Holy moly. The riders are not holding back right now. We got Yuto Yamada in the start gate. Super steezy rider out of Japan. Getting ready to drop in. What does he have in stores for us today? Needs to put something down right now if he wants to play with the big boys. Coming in with some speed. Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh! Yuto. Just barely falling on that one. Really, Almost had really the close. Oh. Once again, went for that frontside 1620 with the indie grab. Super hard trick to do, especially if you keep it flat as he is doing it. But unfortunate for him, not able to put things down. Next up, Alexis Gislani. He was in first place or second place. Tied with Thierry Villi after run number one. And he is coming in cooking right now. Look at that body language. Going for the Lazy Boy 360 this time. Setting himself up forward for run number two. Going. Oh, double bio oh. 1440 with the inside outside safety to the bottom of the landing. It is too easy for him right now. Getting the love from the homies down at the bottom. Wow. That was incredible. We got Sam Vermat dropping in with a landed run. What does he have for us in his run number two? Went for the cap triple 1620 
And I know that he has a front side, tr uh, front side double 18 up his sleeve. Will we see it right now? Yes, we will. Oh, no, front front. What? Front side double right. 14. Puts it down. Perfect landing right there. He's so consistent on these front side double 14s with the tail grab. Perfectly executed. Was, and he still has another one to go. That's a good smart move, putting yeah. one down in tough conditions like this. For sure. Next up, we have Kadi Gomis. Landed his first run. Absolutely came through with that first 16-20. Now dropping in for his second run of the day. Cork 360 over that mm. first one, setting himself up for this second run. Coming in, going carving left side, double 60-20 <laughs> with the blunt grab as well, keeping it so steezy right there. Oh my goodness. And carving into it as well. So sick to see. Wow. We got Zephyr Lovelock, your boy, Big your, Z Dog. Your boy, DJ Z Dog. DJ Z Dog. The Stargate. Come on, boy. Showed us a backside 1620 with the tail grab. Super funky axis, but putting it down perfectly. What's it going to be right now? Opting in for a front side, run number two. Wow. Front side 14. Easy money. Too easy. Zephyr putting it down right there in run number two. Absolutely flawless on that front 14. Getting a little tuck knee action right there. That's what I love to like. see it. And next up, we have Nicola Bollinger, local shredder from Silva Plana. Korvac has to put something down right now if he wants to get up top dropping in switch getting this speed dialed in this time come on boy way better pop going for the switch oh. down the bio 1440 <gasps> inside outside safety grab perfectly landed and he is stoked on that one for sure putting it down oh my goodness back to the top we got line feral with the highest single score of the day so far. He was in the chat earlier asking us. Yeah, chat it up questions. with us actually. Super loose, but love to see it. Here we go, dropping in. Line Feral. Wow. With a method for Gotta the fans. Keep it real right there. Front wow. side double fourteen. Mute to tail. Oh, my gosh. Holding it down right there. And that was a smart move once again. Putting down that first run with the backside 18. Now keeping it a little bit more mellow with that frontside 1440. Perfect landing, actually. Perfect also. landing with the Very grab nice. switch. And now we have Thierry Vili, who was tied in first place with Alexis Gisleni with that 91.30. Now dropping in for his second run of the day. Coming in forward. Already showed us a switch double misty 1620. What's it gonna be? Going for the Oh! Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> god! Triple cork 1800! And I believe that was the first time he ever landed that trick, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. History has been made right now for Thierry Vili. Holy moly! Oh, oh my, my goodness, I can't believe it right now. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Yo. He went to the bottom he as did. well. <laughs> first 18 in the skier division. Oh my goodness. Actually, second 18, second. but first triple 18 right there. That's right. Insane. Oh my goodness. Holy. Hiroto. Oh, Hiroto yes, dropping. Hiroto. He has a landed run one. What will he have for us, run number two? Maybe he's going to clean that first run up a little bit. Let's see. Won't switch back. Oh! oh. Not quite getting it around into the landing. Went for that switch backside 1620. But well, we have mm. to be real right now. I think it's very hard on the takeoff right now for the snowboarders to get 
that edge nice and proper into that takeoff because the takeoff is definitely getting softer and softer by the minute. Next up for the skiers, we have Sven Beye, who already showed us a super creative first run with that classic Jasper Theater switch double with the pullback motion in that rotation. Absolutely killing it in that first run for sure. Now, what's it going to be for him in round number two? Here we go. Coming in cooking right now. Nice straight air. Run number two coming up. Going for the left side double. What? Oh. <laughs> left side double bio 1800 if I'm not mistaken on that one. Holy. Holy. It is going down. It is raining 1800s right <laughs> now. This <laughs> is crazy. I can't believe what is happening. What is going down? Next up, we got Loris dropping in. He doesn't have a landed run number one. Will he go and clean up run number two? Or will he have a different trick for us here? I really do hope that he's going for that switch back 16 again with that Japan grab signature move. Yes. Very Looks unique. Like. Come on. Oh! He goes for the switch back. Oh, 16 dude. and just can't hold on in the landing. I mean, he had it. He basically had it. But just getting lost in that slush right there. Very difficult. I can't believe it. The landing is soft, so if you land a little bit on that nose... Or even just on that front leg, you're gonna get washed out just as Loris has been right now. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Loris oh, had is. potential to be up there for sure. All right, next up, back to the free skiers. We got James Pouch. And I believe last free skier, if I'm not mistaken, to drop in for his second run. No, not last skier, pardon me. Coming in switch, James. Going for a switch left side, double misty, 16. Oh. Oh, couldn't quite hold on to that landing. Not the amplitude he was looking for, unfortunately. Has to wait for that last attempt to put something down. Next up, Kira Kimura dropping in. He landed his first he run with a switchback triple 16-20 perfectly. That's right. Here we go. Does he have an 18? That's the question. Will he put down an 18? Or will it be another 16? Kira coming into the jump. Oh! oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Backside quad 18. Oh my goodness. That was unbelievable. This is crazy right now. This, this is, is just a, an insane session happening right now. 18 after 18 is being thrown. And this is the Euro Cup. Once again, we are not in a World Cup right now. This is Euro Cup, and it has been an 1800 festival so far. Next up, we have Fadri Riner, currently the leader of the Euro, Euro Cup overall rankings. If he's going to win this overall, he's going to get a personal spot for the World Cup for next season. Here we go, dropping in switch. Going switch bio, switch double bio, 1620, oh. holding on to that landing, missing out on the pop a little bit though, but still puts it down, oh my goodness, and I don't think actually that Fadri Rinder needs to win this competition, he just needs to get a decent result in to stay on top, but actually... When I think about it, I think Thierry Vili is currently sitting in second place in the overall ranking. So if Thierry Vili is able to stay on top as he is right now, he will be able to sneak into that top spot and get that personal spot for the upcoming season. Next up we have Julius Forer, another free skier coming in. He also has the potential to get that top spot. So it's a battle between the three of them. Julius dropping in switch right now. Looking over the right shoulder. Going for switch right side. By your rotation. 
Oh, oh going huge. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> he must have lags of steel right there going all the way down that landing. Switch double bio 1620 with the Japan grab. Landing with no problem at all. Insane. Holy moly. And I think he was the last skier to drop for his second run of the day. Oh, it's getting hot in here for sure. Let's see. I think we are done with the snowboarders already. Done with snowboarder run two. So now, ladies and gentlemen, get loud in the chat. This is the final round. Oh, we even get a little reshape action for all the riders. So actually, very nice to see the park crew of Korvac putting in the work, making sure the riders get the best possible jump. Here we have the current standings of the snowboarders after run number two. Lion Farrell getting bumped down to second place by Yuto Miyamura. Rocco Jamison going into third place. A lot of things happening right there. Wow. Crazy. And it is, everything is open. We still have one more run to go. There's so much that is possibly changing up, especially for, I think, Hiroto, who already landed a backside 18, went for the switch backside 16, couldn't quite put it down in this second run. Definitely going to go back in that third run for it. Here we have the standings for the free skiers. Thierry Vili with an absolute banger with that triple cork 1800. First triple 18 of the day in first place currently. Wow. Absolutely crazy right now. I am out of my mind. This is crazy. Stay tuned for more action. We have 280 people watching live currently. Shout out to all the viewers. I really do hope that y'all enjoy this insanity of freestyle throwdown happening today in Silva Plana Korvac. Absolutely mind melting right now. I mean, it is crazy. I'm almost speechless, but thank you, El Tony, for providing me with the boost. So I'm ready to speak out. Love to see it. Let us know maybe now after run number two, what are your predictions? Anything changing in your mind? Who do you have in that top three for free ski and snowboard? Let us know in the chat, please and thank you. We really want to know what you guys think about this. It has been an insane show so far. Tosh, what is your... What is your mind going through uh, right now? I don't even know what to think. It has <laughs> been crazy counting so many spins. Actually, 18s after 18s. Yeah, it's crazy. So many 16s landed. Yeah, this finals can go anywhere. Top three could be Any, Anybody's game really? right now, for sure. It's open. It is crazy. And maybe a little bit of intel. I think most of the viewers watching, they are in on the scene and know what is going on in the World Cup circuit as well. So classic World Cup final, we definitely saw similar tricks going down. A lot of 1800s in the World Cup are going down as well. So this Euro Cup, getting close to World Cup level for sure. In my opinion, almost at that World Cup level for sure. Mm -hmm. And the jump is not super big. So actually, shout out to all the riders going to the moon right there, sending it to the bottom of the landing and here we have the nice reshape done by the Korvac crew shout out to Korvac providing this awesome park at the end of the season Korvac in my opinion always the place to be at the end of the season if you want to hit big jumps also in my opinion the biggest and nicest jump line in the world right now three perfectly built huge jumps in a row and you also That's have a fine. super creative medium park. Super creative medium park. Yeah, you got a perfect super pipe. Arguably one of the best. Yeah, in the true, world. true. Actually. The best in the world. Yeah, it, and that mini that medium park is just it's sick, so eh? fun. A lot of transition features as well, and creative kickers. Yes, you can get very creative out there. And also, I mean, we gotta talk about that that insane gap that y'all put together yesterday. Oh the yes, ride. there were some shredders out yesterday. It was crazy. Hitting this gap, and yeah, just stay tuned on Instagram. You'll see.
Yeah, it's gonna go down for sure. Reshape still happening right now. I hope we're gonna be back on really soon. Make sure to stay tuned for more. Double podium for the Swiss Freeski guys from Johnny Blaze, the prediction. Love to see the love for Switzerland for sure. I definitely think Thierry Willi has what it takes to keep that podium position. It's only a matter of time until we find out if he can hold on to that top spot. It's going to be very interesting to see for sure. Sam Vermont, in my opinion, also has what it takes to get up on that podium. That's right. If he's going to throw down that front 18 with the tail grab, he definitely has the chance to get up there. Only time will tell right now. They're salting up that jump, making sure it gets a little bit more firm for that final run of the day. It's going to get crazy. And once again, I have to say we're very sorry for that quick interference we had before little malfunction of the internet connection for the cameras but we are back on we are running it up in the stream and thanks to the live chat actually keeping it alive throwing out these crazy questions for us to yeah. answer it has been a one hell of a show hit us with some more questions while we get this reshape and wait for the jump to set up after the salt yes sir Wow, what a finals. Oh, we have another question actually in the chat that I didn't saw before. For Birkje, anyone know where to find the live scoring? I can't find it on the FIS website or app. It's not on the FIS app or website. It is on the FEM service app. Download it on the App Store or Android or go to the website. I'm pretty sure they also have a website, FEM Services. Make sure to run it up, check the scores, keep yourself updated and ready and locked in for this final run that is going to go down in a little bit. I am so excited to see what is going to go down I in this wait. last run. I mean, it has been a show already. and uh, Yeah, we still got one more run to go. It's only up from here, only up from here, honestly. Once again, got to give a shout out to the boy himself, Dave, this guy up here. Unfortunately for the freestyle world, Dave, the organizer, main organizer of all these events, working for five years in Swiss Ski and I think also for FIS, doing a great job making sure that we have the best events out there, putting in so much passion, so much work, making sure that we have the best comps throughout the whole season. Here we go. I think we're ready to run it up once again. Last run for all the riders of today. This is it. This is where the hammers are being thrown down. First up, we have Moritz Breu from Germany. Here we go. I'm so excited right now. I can't wait. Moritz, what do you have for us on run number three, your final run? You already showed us a Backside triple 14 and the front side double 12. Oh. <laughs> Showing us just some style in that first jump. Oh. Oh, oh. What? Oh my goodness. Going to the absolute bottom on backside 16. Holy moly. I don't know if he actually ever landed a backside 16 20, so trying something new on his last run. Got to put some respect to the name Moritz Broy for throwing it down right there. Respect. Fortunately, we have slushy landing, so that landing maybe hurt a little bit, but not as much as it would have if we had a firm landing. Next up for the free skiers dropping in for his last run of the day, we have Kashu Sato from Japan. What's it going to be for him? Coming in forward. Going for the... Double cork, 14.40, oh. holding on to that landing. Whew. 
close to butt checking that landing as well but holds on to it making it out alive making it out alive perfectly said right there oh my goodness honestly i have to be real right now i don't think that's gonna touch on that top three but still such a nice show from kashu sato from japan next up who do we have big rocco jameson Currently in third place, so sitting pretty good right now. Good. Can he up his first score? Well, we see a backside 18. There we go. Coming in. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Going backside 18. Oh my goodness. Putting Rocco. it down. Was that the first time he ever stomped that one? I th I think so. I think so. I think he only landed that front 18 before and now going backside 1800 to the bottom. A little wow. bit of a backseat landing right there. But, just dude, I mean, so much respect goes to Rocco just for holding it down right there. Next up, dropping in, we have Niklas Oberauch currently sitting in 14th place. Once again, that nose, nose grab, grab with that shifty, keeping it stylish. Coming in forward. Here we go. Oh, he's keeping it real with that single cork 1080. Nicely done with the blunt grab, keeping it stylish right there. Nice show of the young Italian guy for sure. Love to see all these guys out here today ripping it up. Next up in the start gate, Pedro Pizarro actually landed his first front set 18 yesterday. He went for it in run number two. Will we see the front side 18 in run number three? Can he put it down? This is it. Let's go, Pedro. Time to shine for young Pedro all the way from Chile. Here we go. He's pumped. He is hyped. He is going for it. Put everything on the line right here. Coming in fast. Oh, <laughs> holy moly. Front side, 16. I mean, he went for he the went 18. He went for the 18, brought it to 16. Oh, my gosh. And almost rode out of that one. Crazy show from Pedro right there. Got to give a shout-out to the youngster from Chile, holding it down for Chile right there. Unfortunately, not able to land a clean third run. Next up for the free skiers, Swiss free skier Lars Ruchti currently sitting in 10th place landed two runs already oh I love that front flip over that first one setting himself up right now will we see something big oh, oh. we see a double front flip <laughs> with a <laughs> superman right there keeping the style alive keeping it stylish keeping it loose and lit that's what we love to see I think he knows that he already thrown down his hardest tricks and landed them perfectly. So just having fun with it in this last round. Next up, oof, boy, this is going to be interesting. Chema Mazit Brown. He didn't quite. Did he land his second round? Yeah, he landed the cab 14. Cab four, he did front 14, yeah. cab 14. Will he up it to a 16 or maybe even an 18? Here we go. We'll see. Young Kiwi on course. Coming in switch. Oh, he's going for it. Going for the cap. Oh! 18 and he's <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's go, Shema. He can't that believe was... it himself. I can't believe it myself. Dude, what? Unbelievable, Did he Shema. land that before? I think that was a first for him, actually. That might be a first. Oh, my well God. Well done, Chema. Chema holding it down. Perfect cap. Triple 1800 on his final run. Next up for the free skiers, Valentin Auer. Unfortunately, out of reach for the podium. Didn't put something down as of now. Will we see something stylish or going tack? He's going for a tack one. Oh, oh. Almost putting down that top 14 with the mute grab. He went for it. Put some respect to the name Valentin Auer right there. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy right now. Chema with the cap 18. And next up, unfortunately, out of podium.
position. We got Keenan Demchuk. What will he have for us here? Will I'm he take that I'm, special trick? Yeah, I'm curious. Will we see that crazy trick? He already tried something crazy in slope style on That's Wednesday. Right. Or is he going to go for another 16-20 attempt? Honestly, I think he's going to go back for that 16. He wants I it. think so. He's hungry. Yeah. Let the dogs eat. Let him eat. Let him have it. Come on, Keenan. Looking good. Oh, okay. Puts down the back triple 14. Perfect back 14 right there. He can go to sleep happy tonight, putting For down sure. a run. For sure. Shout out once again to the Schmob. I have to put it out there once again. Make sure to follow him on all the socials, putting out edits left and right. Love to see it. Crew built based out of Whistler. Y'all are killing it, honestly. Love Thanks, to see man. the content. Next up for the free skiers, all the way from the United States of America, we have Colby Johnson, currently sitting in ninth place, looking to improve that first run score of a 74.33. Coming in switch right now. Going for the switch double, 16.20. Wow. With the afterbang. Oh, my goodness. Perfection on that switch up 16 with the safety. I think he can improve on that first run score a little bit at least. Going to be interesting to see where the judges will put him. And next up, Swiss boy. And actually got to give a shout out to him because he's already claimed the Swiss championship title in big air. So shout out to Alex Latorto now dropping in for his second run of the day. Run number three. Ah, third run, pardon me. Final run. Alex coming and switch. Is he going to go switch back 16? Yes, he is. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh! oh, my gosh. Man, that was close. That was actually super close, and I believe he hasn't actually done a switch back triple 16 ever. So shout out to Alex Latorto for trying it in his last attempt of today. Absolutely killed it throughout the whole week. And now next up for the free skiers, we have Adrien Vodo, Swiss skier. Has to improve that first run score. Coming in switch right now. What's it going to be for Adi? Here we go. Go and switch. Oh! Oh! oh no! Oh my goodness! <gasps> go and switch triple 16-20. And I think he wanted that 1440 actually, so accidentally taking it to 1620 and almost putting it down. Holy moly. We just heard some screams from the judges' booth as well. They were excited about it for sure. Next up for the borders, who do we have? Noah Victor dropping in. Oh, he's coming in with some speed. Going backside wow. 14. Oh, he no puts way. it down but loses it in the landing. Oh, my gosh. That's what the slush can do. It just takes yeah. you halfway down the landing. Very tough to see. Noah, unfortunately, not able to put something down today. Went for it in run number three but couldn't put it down. Here we go. Simo Beltola, a.k.a. Speldo from Finland, already has a super decent second run score. Coming in switch right now, trying to improve that first run score. Looking over the left shoulder, going switch left side. Oh, switch Ooh. left, double 12. Looks like it just got caught up on the takeoff. Yeah, a bit. it seems like a little bit early on that takeoff. Unfortunate for him, that's not going to improve his score. So he has to stay in this 11th position. And next up, the finest himself, Finn Finestone, Whistler native. Dropping take it, in. Take it over, bro. Run number three. He went for switchback triple 14 last run, but pulled out and just did the switchback 10. Will we see another switchback side from Finn today? Come on, boy. Let's go, Finn. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh! oh. Just sitting down on the landing. Finn going for the switchback side triple 1440. Mm. 
that is unfortunate oh, right it's there. It's tough. Schmaber is unfortunately not quite able to put things to play in today's finals. But still such a nice show from all of the riders up until now. Here we go. Next up, we have Timothy Roche from France putting down two very decent first runs. What's it going to be for this last third run? Dropping in right now. Coming in with a lot of speed. 180 on that first one. Setting himself up. Switch. Looking over the right shoulder. Switch right side spin. Oh my goodness. Switch right side oh. double 18. <laughs> Holy moly. And just twisting out right there in the end. Going for the 1800. Holy. Man, this is an incredible final. Seen 18s after 18s. It is crazy. Stomp 16s. Nothing less than a 14. That is crazy right now. Next snowboarder, Mr. Pinky, Jules the Slover. Come on, boy. Put something down right now. Going large on the oh. first jump. Oh, no. No. Jules. no. Couldn't hold on in that landing and misses out. Are you out. kidding me? <laughs> Jules. He can't believe it himself right now. Oh, that is such a bummer. Jules, hike back up and redo the run. Oh, that is so unfortunate right there. We saw that once with a skier. Yeah, true. And and things like these, they happen. They do. I mean, Lion Farrell also, for an example, in slope finals, he caught a little slush snake on that side hit. Couldn't put down that run, but then went on the jump line and put something in incredible down. So, unfortunate for him. But now, next up in the start gate, already on course, David Wolf. Coming in switch. Trying to improve that first run score. Looking over the left shoulder, going switch. What? Oh, wow. I mean, he is inventing a trick right now. I don't even know what to call this. It is essentially a switch double 10 with the craziest axis I've ever seen. Setting up for switch cork 7 into the switch flat spin. NBD, never been done. Absolutely crazy. So wow. crazy. Next up, Starkgate. We got Cam. Solid second run score. What will he have for us in his third run? Potential podium position. For sure. Oh, yeah. Coming in switch. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. And goes for the switch backside 16 to mirror the backside 16. But can't put it down. Mm, that is so unfortunately. Man. Oh, close one for Cam Melville. Very close, Ives. very close. ATV from New Zealand, but I'm not going to lie, this guy has such a bright future ahead of him. Still so young, but already super talented on that snowboard. Next up for the Swiss free ski gang, we have Victor Maxiagin. Already has two very solid scores on the board. And I know for a fact that this guy has been putting in work on the airbag. I've seen triple cork 1800s on the airbag. So is Victor feeling it today? Is this the day he puts down that triple 18 for the first time on snow? Or is he going to take a chill pill and take it a little bit easier? All right. Focusing up. This is it. Honestly, I think he's going to go for it. Yeah. Taking a lot of speed right there. Oh, going in switch, actually. So not going for the triple 18. Here we go. Coming in switch for the switch left side spin. Going switch left side. Oh! Wow. Left side double Misty 1260 with the octo grab. Made famous by the one and only Woodsy. Beautifully done. Getting another grab in on that switch. Double 1260. Absolutely crazy. Next up for the snowboarders, who do we have? Yuto Miyamura. He has two landed scores. 
very well scored. Very well scored. Will he step it up this run? Went for the front 16 in that second run. Back 18 in that first one. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Ooh. All right. Okay. Looks like we're gonna see a big backside. Maybe possibly 19 out of that. <laughs> that would have been crazy. That would have been crazy. I think he was going for something big right there, but just getting caught on that takeoff. I think you saw it actually in real time right there, getting hung up right before that takeoff. So taking it safe, not going for it. Next up for the free skiers, Alexis Gislani, currently sitting in second place. Already with a super decent score on that first run and second run as well. Lazy Boy 360 to start things off. What's it going to be on this final attempt? Is he going to go big? Going for the double. Oh, oh, double bio 1620. Losing a shoe right there. Unfortunate for him. Trying to. Yeah, now he got it. Oh, went big on that attempt on a double bio 1620 with the safety grab. Super nice style on that one as well. Unfortunate for him, not able to improve his score, but still sitting in that second place right now. Next up, a rider that doesn't have the chance to get on that podium position, unfortunately, because he didn't land run one or two. Will we see something stylish for the crowd or something tech? Yuto, put something steezy for the crowd. Put on a show. Here we go. Coming in hot. He's going for it. Front oh! 18. Oh, my gosh. Oh, just missing out on the landing. So close right there. Tried the front side 1620 twice. And now tries to improve even more and go for that front 18. Not able to put things down. Next up, we have Kadi Gomis. Currently just outside of that podium position. In fourth place right now. Is he going to go big or will he put on a show? Either way, I am so excited to see this guy drop in for his last run. Go and switch. For this last attempt, looking over the left shoulder, switch left side rotation. Switch left side, double 1800. I believe that was a stomped run. We couldn't quite see the landing right there, unfortunately. I think he landed it though. From his body language, I could tell that he is a little happy on that one for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> Sam Vermat. We've got some Sam fans in the chat. Oh, yeah, love to see it. Shout out to the Netherlands. And we talked about it before. Sam Vermaat has that front 18 up his pocket. Will he take it out in his final run? I think there's no better way, no better place to put down a front 18 on your final run right now. We're currently waiting for... The judges to get ready. I think they had a slight slip up on that camera angle for the landing. Taking their time to make sure the scores are dialed in. All right, here we go. He is hyped. He is hyped. Sam is dropping in. Get ready for a firework. We saw a beautiful front 14 last lap from Sam. Starting us off with the back three. No way. What? No way, Sam. That he pulls was it out of the pocket. The front side 18 double cork with the tail grab. Oh my goodness. That is incredible to see. I was holding my breath right there for a <laughs> second. That axis is so insane. Holy moly. Nico Bollinger, next up for the free skiers, has a super good score on that second run with a 90.3 what's it gonna be for the local 
Nicola Bollinger. Oh, a lovely front flip on that first one. Will he put on a show or is he going to go big? Here we go. Left side. Double cork. 16-20 and he puts it down. Beautiful. Perfect execution on that one. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it right now. The show is still going on. Absolutely incredible. Holy moly. We have still no update on the score for Sam Vermont. Next up, DJ Z Dog. DJ Z Dog. Come on, boy. Let's go, my dog. Keeping it real on the first jump. Oh, <laughs> and he does it again. I mean, I mean, I don't know if it was as clean as his first mm, run, but that axis though is so unique, unbelievable. It is crazy. Backside sixteen with the tail grab. Oh my goodness! Next up, the current leader of the skiers. He already put down a triple cork eighteen hundred. First time ever for Thierry Willy to put down that triple 18. Now, go and switch for his final run. Is he going to pull out the switch? Double miss the 1800. He's going for it. Oh! oh! Getting smashed in the landing right there. Holy crap. I mean, he's sitting in first place pretty comfortable right now. Mm -hmm. But he... I mean, he went for it right there. Still going for it. Holy moly. Going for the switch double misty 1800. Incredible performance from Thierry Willi. Nevertheless, still sitting in first place and pretty comfortable in that first place. I'm not going to lie with a 80, uh, sorry, 96 and a 91.33. And next up, this is going to be very interesting. Lion Farrell. Currently sitting in third place. I think he has potential to take that top spot. For sure. I know that he already landed a frontside 18 triple once. But the question is, can he put it down on this final attempt in today's Euro Cup final of the Big Air? Let's go, go, Lion. Come on, Lion. Put Tighten it down. Tighten up those bindings. Yep, keeping it smooth, coming into the jump. Oh. oh! Going for the front side double 14 once again, trying to clean it up a bit. Trying to go a little bit bigger than in run number two, but unfortunately for him, not able to put it down. Just quite. And I think we only have two more three more no four more free skiers left to drop absolutely incredible skiing and snowboarding went down so far next up in the star game we have sven beye who went for the double bio 1800 in his second run what's it gonna be for this last attempt for the man himself out of france here we go Going for the switch right side. Sorry, switch left side. Switch left side. Double cork 1620. Putting it down. <sighs> claiming it as well. Absolutely flawless. Oh my goodness. Wow, he is stoked. He is stoked on that one. And honestly... Landing every run. Landing every run. And what? potentially even getting up in that podium position. Next up, Hiroto Ogiwara. Oh my dropping gosh. in. He's got potential to take the top spot. For sure. Already landed the backside 18 with a slight hand drag in the landing. Now looking for that switch backside rotation. Switch back three on the first jump. That's kind of gangster, I'm not going to lie. That is. Switch oh! back 16 puts it down. <laughs> this is crazy. Holy, it'll Last be crazy to run. see. 
and he puts it down. Maybe it didn't went as big as the other riders, but putting down a switchback at 1620 on his last attempt. That is so crazy. Next up, we have James Pouch from Great Britain. Ready to let loose the tiger inside of him. Here we go. Dropping in switch. Nice little 180 with a shifty on that first one. Going for that switch left side rotation. Switch left side. Bio. Double. 1620. Putting it down. Holy moly. This is going to be so interesting to see what is going to happen in that top three section right now of the skiers. Absolutely crazy. And this next rider, very unfortunate to see. Not able to crack into the top three because he didn't land either run number one or two. Will, Will he, he go big or will maybe, he go home? Maybe he's going to put on a show. Nice. Will we see a double toadio? That would be very nice to finish off that comp. Oh, he's going for... Oh! Ooh! Put on a show and then backside double 1080 with the grab switch. Actually, backside double 14. That was double 14. Yeah. It's like super unique the way he does it because he spins out on that first one with the nose grab and then grabs that indie. Right. At the end. And now this is going to be very interesting to see. Fadri Riener currently sitting in 10th place. And he is sitting in first place in the overall ranking, battling it out with Thierry Willi. Coming in switch for this last hit. What does he have for the final attempt? Going switch, bio. Ooh, getting loose in the air. Ooh. He saved it really good, though. Going for the switch, double bio, 16-20. Unfortunately, not going to improve his score. Pretty sure about that. Has to settle for 10th place. Which is actually incredible to see because he did two 1620s pretty much perfectly and he's sitting in 10th place. Yeah. That's crazy. Kira, Kamira. We're coming closer to the end of this insane big air final. What a show it has been. Absolutely crazy. Kira with a landed first run. Trying to up the score on his second run. Here we go. Dropping in, coming in fast. Here we go, pumping for speed. Whoa. I mean, okay. it, it's crazy to say okay. this, but he had a slip up on that takeoff, but still goes for a back double 12 and putting it down perfectly. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Conditions are getting tough out there. For sure. Snow is getting real soft on that takeoff. I think the hardest part is right before that takeoff. Like in the flat before the transition starts of that jump, there's a lot of slush. Yeah. And next up we have Julius Fogger, who also had the potential to take the top spot in the overall ranking. I don't think that he's able to crack into that top spot. Front flip with the blunt grab. Is he going to take it chill or will he go big? He's going to go big. Right side, double 16-20, putting it Ooh. down so nicely right there with the J Japan grab as well. Oh, my goodness. We have seen so many landed runs. It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And everybody's chilling down there on the third knuckle, having a good time, just enjoying the last couple of riders. And is this it for, I for think the snowboarders? That is it for our I think overall we're done. standings. Oh my goodness. Snowboard. There you go. Oh, I am actually out of my mind right now. Sam Vermat taking <laughs> the top spot, actually. <gasps> oh I didn't see gosh. that one coming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy moly. That. I saw that in the predictions earlier this stream. That is sick to see right there. Unfortunately, the Canadian Keenan Demchuk went for it in his comp runs, but just putting down that last back triple 14. Shout out to Keenan for sure. Now I think we're going to have the final standings for the free skiers coming up shortly. Dude. Man, what a finals. Absolutely incredible. 
roller coaster of emotions right there with the interference of the camera malfunctioning yeah. with 1800s with so many landed 1620s it has been an incredible show right now and i think we're still waiting for that last score for julius fora so the snowboard standings as of now Oh, there we have it. Okay, final standings. Thierry Vili, the boy from Switzerland, taking home the W. So deserved. Sven Peye in second place. Alexis Gisleni in third place. Nico Bollinger, the local boy, unlucky fourth place, but insane performance. Shout out to all the riders. That was an insane show right there. I don't think I've ever witnessed a final this crazy, this intense. What about you? I have not, that's for sure. Such insane. an insane level of riding. Such a tight standings, too. Yeah, I mean, absolutely crazy. And once again, I got to give a shout-out to all the people behind the scenes making this stream possible, making this competition possible. And look at the filmer. Can we get a little zoom action right there? No <laughs> zoom? Hey! <laughs> Danke, Dave. I'm going to switch it over to Swiss German right now. <laughs> Dave Ortlieb, the man, the myth, the legend. Er ist der, der behind the scenes ist. He's the man behind the scenes of all of these competitions, making sure that the competitions are on point. Right there, that's him with the Swiss, uh, with the white t shirt on his head. Showing the love. I mean, this is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Dave has been putting in so much passion, so much work, and he is now leaving the Swisky and FIS family, going on a new adventure. Dave, so much love for you. You are the absolute man. Thank you for providing us with this many good competitions. You will be missed for sure, and I hope you have a lot of fun on your new adventures. Shout out to everybody. I mean, this has been one hell of a day. Crazy. I can't, I can't, couldn't have wished for a better final. This was absolutely incredible. And thank you also to all the viewers in the stream. It has been incredible. We had, I think at one point we had 280 people watching. To all of you guys watching at home, thank you so much. You killed it in the chat. Kept it real. I hope you have been enjoyed, enjoying the stream. And also, thank you to Tosh. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely Bring killed it. In. First time in the booth, actually. First time in the booth. Dude, it's quite fun. It. Yeah, man. Good to see everything behind the scenes. Yes, sir. Love yeah. to see the chat. Yeah, man, it's the great. chat, man. It's all about the chat. Yeah. And I wish you a lot of fun in Kids Channel as well. Thank Keep you. it real. Shout out to the Schmop. Shout out to the snowboard community, the free ski community, the freestyle community in general. Y'all are the best, and that's why we love this sport. We are all one big family. That's and right. I think we've come to an end. And also, I have come to an end. Maybe I can announce that for now unfortunately i will not be in the streams nor on the speaking part on the contest because i've been injured for the past three seasons and next season i'm gonna be back in full swing in the comps myself mm -hmm. so thank you so much for everything you've done and i think that's it we've that's come it. to an end shout out to everybody peace out and have a good day i love you guys Seit Reim brauche ich ein bisschen Support. Es braucht gute Serviceleute, Vorbilder und einen Fanclub. Aber es braucht auch kein Rezept, um die Tüpfelscheisser und die entscheidenden Hundertstel rauszufahren. Manchmal braucht es Überredungskünstlerinnen. Leute, die mit einer guten Einstellung an die Sache gehen und Sättig, die, die einen motivieren. Damit es läuft, läuft und läuft, braucht es eine gute Verbindung untereinander. Ein Technologiepartner, der alles gibt fürs Team. Und jemand, der dir sagt, go, go, go.